Hi, James here from the XIR team. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through a basic culling workflow using the powerful new culling tools available in our Lightroom Classic plugin, XIR Search 2026. Now, to get the most out of this video, I recommend you have a basic familiarity with XIR Search 2026's culling tools. I did create another video that offers an overview of these culling features, so if you haven't watched that one yet, I do encourage you to go check it out right now and then just come back here for my workflow demonstration. Now, today we're going to tackle a realistic scenario. I have a batch of nearly a thousand images from a pre-wedding couple's photo shoot, and my goal is to rapidly narrow down that batch to just the top selects, that is the images worth editing, delivering, or sharing. To do that, I'm going to use Xire's AI grouping functionality. So let's dive right in and I can show you what I mean. So here we are in the Lightroom library module and I've selected a folder already containing about 900 raw images from this couple's portrait session. And I've already opened the Xire search panel here by hitting Alt plus X or Option plus X if you're on a Mac. And if I wanted to, I could just minimize this to a strip, but for calling photos that include people, I want the panel's full preview capabilities. Generally, I like to place the panel in one monitor and the Lightroom Classic window in another monitor, but since I'm recording on one screen, I've positioned it all so it fits on the right and the left-hand side of the monitor. I have this split screen approach here. Then I'm just going to go ahead, so I have that selected, I'm going to hit Start Culling Project on the right. In the dialog that pops up here, you'll see several tabs, and for this AI-assisted culling workflow, we're going to focus on the Grouping tab here. So here, XIR includes the option to break down this large set of images into smaller, organized chunks. So instead of individually reviewing a thousand files, you can review, say, a hundred groups of ten images each, or 50 groups of 20 images each, etc., which makes the whole reviewing process far less burdensome. And you can choose how XIR breaks down the images. There's an option to create groups based on the faces contained in the images, or by content, or by visual similarity here, or capture date, or sequences. And for this shoot, I'm going to group based on visual similarity here, so images with similar backgrounds get grouped together, and that way I can turn this 1,000 image set into a much smaller number of groups containing similar images. And I can tweak the settings a bit if I want, so the comparison feature tells Xire whether images should be grouped based on content or color. Um, and for here, I'm, for this workflow, I'm just going to keep it set to content, but that is always an option. And I can also change the slider here. So the stricter the measure of visual similarity, the smaller the groups of similar images will be, because XIR will separate out images that have less noticeable differences, whereas a loose measure of visual similarity will actually broaden XIR's sense of what counts as similar and will get larger groups of images put together. For now, I'm just going to reset this and leave it at 25, but I can always change it after the fact if I want to. I'm also going to group the images by capture date here, and this is already selected, but I'll choose 15 minute intervals. While I'll be using the visual similarity grouping to do the bulk of my culling, I do like to have these time interval groups to give myself an overview of each part of the photo shoot. That way I can make sure that all the key parts of the shoot are represented in the final output. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit start to run the project. So XIR gets to work grouping everything in the background. And it's fast, so even with a large set like this, I don't have to wait very long. And when it's done, I get this report dialog, which indicates that XIR has collected my batch of images into 77 visually similar groups and nine 15-minute periods. And then in the Lightroom Collections panel here, I'm going to look for the XIR Culling Projects collection set, where I'll find a folder here that matches the date and time. That's my current culling project. When my culling project collection set is selected, I just see all of my images here. But there are two collection sets inside, if you look here, a visual similarity collection set and then the capture date collection set. And these contain all of my different groups. So if I open the visual similarity collection set here, 
you can see all these different groupings and each correspond to a different set of similar images. And then if you take a look at the XIR search panel here, if I change to this culling group view by clicking here, and then I go ahead and click visual similarity, then I get a really nice overview of all my different groups. And if I double click on any of these here, and I can just use my arrow keys to go from one image to the next. I'm gonna hit escape to go back to the grouping view. So now everything is grouped and I need to make my selections. I wanna go through one group at a time and for this, the XIR search panel will be a big help, especially for images with detectable faces. When I double click on this group to open it up, you'll see so the first image from the group is here and it appears in the panel. And as I showed you before, I can quickly scroll through the images by pressing the arrow keys. And where XIR detects faces, it magnifies them on the right hand side here, which is really helpful for checking sharpness. Plus the color here indicates sharpness where the greener colors correspond to a sharper face and yellow, orange, or red indicate a blurrier face. I can also make this clearer by toggling on the highlight faces option here. And I can also check face sharpness by toggling on this option here. And then when I click on a face in the faces column, it immediately fills the screen. So my goal here is to just go through as quickly as possible and identify the images that I want to keep marking those with a pick flag by pressing P on my keyboard. And I can also choose to reject images by pressing X on my keyboard, though I'm honestly not hugely concerned about that because I don't want to review each and every image. I just want to review enough images that I know I found one to three of the best shots from each visually similar group. And as I do that, by the way, I do want to draw your attention to this collection here, the selection collection. When I add a pick flag to an image, the image is going to be automatically added to this collection here. So as I go through, my selection collection is going to fill with my best images, and it'll really only take a few minutes to do this since I'm not looking at each and every image, just a few from each set. So maybe from this first group I go through, take a look, I say, oh, I don't love that one. Not a huge fan but maybe I say this one's okay. So I'll hit P on my keyboard. And then I can say, oh, let me see if anything more from the set jumps out at me. I'm just gonna quickly scroll here in the Lightroom window. Maybe this image looks kind of interesting. I'll hit the flag to pick it. And then I'm just going to go back to the calling group view and go to the next one. And here I'm just arrowing through, and I already like the first few, um, and I can see the face looks sharp in the faces panel, and XIR has tagged it as green. So maybe I'll just add the P flag there. And then scrolling down to the bottom, maybe some of these tighter shots look fairly interesting. So I could go here looks pretty good. I'll add a P there. XIR doesn't detect a face, by the way, because she's turned away, but if I wanted to, I could still just zoom in here in the panel to verify sharpness before adding that P flag. And by the way, say that I come upon a group that seems to have a lot of potentially interesting shots, but I don't want to spend too much time trying to figure out which ones are worthy of a pick flag, I could just go ahead and hit this button, the sort photos in a culling group button in the XIR search panel. And then I'll just tell XIR to search based on relevant characteristics. So maybe I say sharpness and eyes open and then click start. So here are my results. And as long as I tell Lightroom to sort using this custom order here, I can just look at the top few images because I know that those are the sharpest ones and then add my pick flags. 
and then just go back to the relevant group here and then go back to the group overview. And I can just keep going through, quickly picking images from each set and then moving on to the next and the next and the next. And I can do more sorting if needed until I've just gone through them all and my selection collection has a decent number of shots. At that point, I have a few different options. So I could head into the capture date collection set. That's here. And I can use the group view to assess each 15 minute group. I can double click and here I can just scroll through to make sure I haven't overlooked any key moments from the shoot. And I can see the little pick flags in the corner so I already know which shots I've added to my selection collection. And I can go to the next one here. And I can also take a look at the images that are in my selection collection here. And depending on how liberal I was when picking my photos, I may want to narrow this down a bit further. So I could quickly go through and maybe I want to add star ratings. So only the four and five star images are what ultimately make the final cut. And to help with that, I can always uh, apply sorting criteria here. So I can sort the photos in the selection collection, maybe using uh, the same criteria as before, or maybe I want to sort by, say, aesthetics. And then I can scroll up to the top and see which images XI are like the most. And then once I'm done reviewing my selects, I can head over to the develop module for editing, or I can export the files for sharing. So that's it, a streamlined real world culling workflow using Xire's grouping tools. As you can see, Xire's grouping capabilities break down large batches of photos into far more manageable chunks. And in conjunction with the search panel and the plugin sorting capabilities, it's really, really easy to go from say 1,000, 2,000, or even 5,000 images down to just a few keepers. And since it's all non-destructive, you can always revisit the culling project later on and make modifications to the grouping settings or your selections. And if you want to start over entirely, that's always an option. You can run another culling project on the same set of images. So once you've culled one batch this way, I really think you'll never want to go back to clicking through thousands of images one by one. And if you're interested in using Xire's smart selection features, that is the features where the AI actually selects images for you, I have created another workflow video that walks you through that process and it's also available on our channel. So go check that out if that interests you and thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, go ahead, click that like button. And of course, if you're interested in more tips and tutorials on Xire's AI-powered photo management features, then go ahead and subscribe to our channel.